Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for checking out the Pixel app. I want to talk to you about cloth today and a few problems that you might have if you're just starting out using cloth. So we have this great simulation right here. We have the corners pinned to these cables and it's looking really nice. So let's say that we've made this flag and we want to put it into a scene. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste it into this uh, really nice scene that we have set up here. Go ahead and paste it in. And we're going to notice that it doesn't paste where you want it. And that's pretty common if you're putting something in a new scene. Um, it's in the wrong spot. So we'll just move it, right? Grab the null and move it up. And you can see that we're getting some really weird stuff happening. Um, let's go ahead and click play. And you can see that we're still stuck to those cables. Uh, but it's the cloth simulation starts uh, in its original spot before you moved it. And things just get all crazy. So this can be really frustrating if you're just starting out uh, using cloth, but let me show you a workaround. So here's what you gotta do. We'll go to our plane that has the cloth tag on it and we'll click on that cloth tag. And we have a little uh, tab here called cache. So if you're just starting out, you might be scared of the cache tab and think it's gonna take a long time to cache. It might be like rendering in all of your effects and kind of being destructive. But actually on the cloth tag, the cache goes really quickly. So one thing I wanna do is go ahead and make my scene a lot longer, like 500 frames. I'm gonna show you why in a second. But once we're at 500 frames, all we have to do is click Calculate Cache. And as you'll see, it's extremely fast, so that's not something you need to worry about. Now, if we hit Play, first of all, you'll notice that it's uh, sped up a lot. And that's because it's kind of baked in all of the, uh, the animation of the cloth. So it's gonna be a lot faster. The other thing that you'll need to know is if you want to make any changes to your tag, you can still make those and then recache it. So it's not destructive at all. It's just temporarily freezing it in that spot. The nice thing about freezing it is now if we go to our null and move it, you can see that we can move our flag wherever we want. And that's because it's cached and um, you can just move it without having to worry about all those weird things happening. Once you're in the spot you want it, you can go back and change any of the parameters that you want. But we're going to leave it cached right now. And I usually leave it cached when I'm doing my final and here's why. You'll see in the beginning, um, it starts out before the wind kind of hits it, right? And then the wind hits it. Uh, the nice thing about caching is if we go to our cache tag, we have an offset frames and we can move where the flag starts the animation. So if we offset it to a little bit further down the timeline, it's not going to affect the flag until it hits that frame. And that's going to be really nice if you want to set up a wind gust or something like that. What I like to do also is go backwards so that it starts before your camera move. And then if we hit play at the beginning, you can see that the wind is already hitting it. And that's why I added 500 frames so that I have a little bit of leeway to offset my animation to be able to start it whenever I want. So if you're just starting out with cloth, these are a couple tips that are going to help you out a lot and uh, hopefully save you some frustration. Thanks guys for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll see you next time. Bye.